Welcome to GTV. Today I would like to demonstrate how to perform a basic startup on an Emerson Control Techniques Commander SK Variable Frequency AC Drive. This is a general purpose AC drive that is relatively simple to use. It can be used as a simple shaft turner with speed varying capabilities or it can be used in more complex applications that require PLC-like functionality. I have already double checked my wiring to ensure that it meets with the recommendations in the Commander SK user manual. I will be using a demo system to show the functions of the drive, so we will focus on the drive itself. The switches, indicators, and controls to the right of the drive are to demonstrate the interfacing capabilities of the drive only and are not included with the drive package. Okay, let's get started. I will switch on our demo. Notice on the display that there is an IH in the left and a 0.0, .0 on the right. On the front panel of the drive, we can see a short reference list of parameters. These are the minimum setup parameters required to get my motor running. I will begin by entering a value for the first parameter on our list, which is minimum speed in hertz. I will press the M button and 01 will begin flashing. I'll press the M again. Now the digits to the right are flashing. This means that I can now edit the value in parameter 1. Using the up and down arrow keys, I will set the value to 0.0, .0 for this example. When finished making adjustments, I'll press the M button to return to the parameter selection. Now the 01 is flashing. Next I will adjust parameter 2. This is the maximum speed in hertz. I'll arrow up to O2 and press the M button to edit. With the arrow keys, I'll change the value in 02 to 50, the value found on my motor's nameplate. When finished, I'll press the M button. Next I'll adjust parameter 3. This is the acceleration rate measured in seconds per 100 hertz. I'll arrow up to 03 and then press the M button to edit. With the arrow keys, I will change the value in 03 to 4.0 for my demo. The requirements may vary by application and may need more or less time depending upon the system configuration. When finished, I'll press the M button. Next I need to adjust parameter 4. This is the deceleration rate in seconds per 100 Hz. I will arrow up to 04 and press the M button. With the arrow keys, I'll change the value in 04 to 5 for my demo. Again, the requirements vary by application and may need more or less time depending upon the system configuration. When I am finished, I'll press the M button. Next, I need to adjust parameter 5. This is the drive configuration parameter. This parameter sets up how the drive is going to be controlled. For my demo, I would like to use the keypad on the drive for control. I'll arrow up to 05 and press the M button to edit. With the arrow keys, I'll change the value in 05 to display pad. When finished, I'll press the M button. Optionally, I could have set the drive to be controlled in a number of remote operation. The manual or our technical support staff can be of further assistance with remote operation. Now I need to look at my motor's nameplate to gather the data for the other four parameters. Parameter 6 is the motor rated current in amps. I'll arrow up to 06 and press the M button to edit. With the arrow keys, I'll change the value to the value that is on my motor nameplate. My demo motor nameplate shows 1.40 amps, so I will input the value accordingly. When finished, I'll press the M button. Next I will adjust parameter 7. This is the motor rated RPMs, or for some European motors, RPMs may be listed as min minus 1. I'll arrow up to 07 and press the M button to edit. With the arrow keys, I'll change the value in 07 to display 1370. When finished, I'll press the M button. Next, I need to adjust parameter 8. This is the motor rated voltage. I'll arrow up to 08 and then press the M button to edit. With the arrow keys, I'll change the value in 08 
to display 230. I selected a voltage exactly in the middle of the range indicated on my motor nameplate. Typically, anywhere within the range of the value on the motor nameplate will be acceptable. I usually choose for a value in the middle. When finished, I'll press the M button. Next, I'll adjust the last parameter for this demonstration, which is parameter 9, the motor rated cosine or power factor. I'll arrow up to 09 and press the M button to edit. Some motors do not have this rating, in which case I can leave this at the default value of 0.85. Since my motor shows a cosine value, I will enter it into the drive. With the arrow keys, I'll change the value for parameter 09 to 0.63. When finished, I'll press the M button. The last on my list is parameter 10. I will not need to adjust this parameter for this demonstration. This parameter enables more advanced features within this series of drive, but for now, I am focusing on a basic startup. At this point, I have all the basic information entered to run the drive. I'll press the M button without changing the value, and I'll wait for an IH and 0.0, .0 to appear on the display. The IH stands for inhibit. Before I can run the drive, I need the display to read RD. A hardware connection is required to enable this drive. This is done for safety reasons and is referred to as safe torque off. In this demo system, I already have a switch wired which is used to enable the drive. This switch effectively establishes a connection between terminals B2 and B4 under the front cover. I can accomplish this with a switch or just a jumper wire. I will now simulate the enable circuit by pressing the B4 switch on my demo system. Once I press the switch, the IH has changed to an RD. I am now ready to run. With RD and 0.0, .0 showing on the display, I will press and hold the up arrow until 25 is shown on the display. Then I'll press the green run key off the keypad. The drive ramps up to 25 Hz. To stop the motor, I will press the red stop key. The drive then ramps down to zero and the motor stops. This concludes basic startup of a Control Techniques Commander SK drive. Emerson Control Techniques Commander SK AC drive, along with thousands of other products and services, are available at galco.com.